One of my favorite pies is a chocolate cream pie. And I wanna show you how to make it today that is so simple and delicious and your guests are gonna love it. They won't even know it's keto. This keto chocolate cream pie is gonna have three different layers to it. Our crust is going to be a chocolate, almost like a graham cracker type crust, even though there's no wheat or flour or anything like that or graham crackers in it. The filling is a delicious, smooth and creamy chocolate filling. And then we're gonna to top that with some keto whipped cream on top, as well as some sugar-free shaved chocolate. To mix up the pie crust, I'm gonna add everything into a food processor. I just think it really gets it all nice and crumbly. If you don't have a food processor, just mix it all together with a fork because we are gonna be using some chilled butter. So in your food processor, you're gonna add one and a quarter cups of almond flour, three tablespoons of coconut flour, and for a hint of sweetness and that chocolate flavor, I'm gonna be using some Cacao Bliss by Earth Echo. I love baking with this just because it has a unique taste to it. It has cinnamon in it, turmeric in it, um, a bunch of different superfluids like MCT, Himalayan salt, and plus it's made from raw cacao powder. So it provides just this delicious, unique chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna be using this, a quarter cup is gonna go into my crust. If you don't want to use Cacao Bliss, you could just use regular cocoa powder, but make sure you add just like another tablespoon or so of sugar-free sweetener. This video is sponsored by Earth Echo, who makes cacao bliss. I love a cacao bliss. I use it in a lot of my baked goods that call for chocolate, as well as I actually put a scoop inside my coffee every afternoon. It's the perfect treat. If you guys are interested in cacao bliss, make sure you click down below. I'll have a special code for you. For our crust, we're also going to need a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, a quarter teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of unsalted butter that's chilled, and it's important that you do chill it just because if it's too soft, that butter is gonna melt when the pie crust bakes and it won't be just quite as like airy or, cr or crispy as it should be. And you'll also need one teaspoon of vanilla. Pulse that together until everything is combined and you get these like coarse crumbles. And now it's time to press it into our pie pan. You're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for around nine to 10 minutes, just until it is set and it maybe starts to turn a little golden brown. Remove it from the oven, let it cool completely, and we're gonna move on to our filling. To make our chocolate filling, we are gonna cook this over the stove top. So in a saucepan over medium low heat, we're gonna to whisk together four eggs. one cup of powdered sweetener of your choice. You could use a monk fruit blend or just straight erythritol. You wanna stir this constantly and cook it until it reaches a temperature of around like 150 to 160 degrees. You don't want your eggs to curdle, so just cook it until it starts to thicken or coats the back of a spoon and remove it right away. If it starts to curdle too much, then you're gonna be left with just like a curdly mixture. One saving grace is that you could strain it if it hasn't really curdled too much. Just strain those curdles out and you're left with perfect um, curd or crust custard to go for your filling. Next, I'm gonna stir in seven ounces of melted chocolate. I'm using an unsweetened keto approved chocolate. I'll have my favorite listed down below for you guys, as well as two teaspoons of vanilla. You could also add in some more cacao bliss at this point if you really want some cocoa and just a hint of cinnamon flavor in your filling. We're gonna set that mixture aside and then in a small bowl, we're gonna take 10 tablespoons of unsalted softened butter and beat it until it's nice and fluffy. Then slowly pour in your chocolate mixture and continue to mix that until it's light and fluffy. It'll take around four to five minutes. 
set that aside and then we're gonna mix up some heavy cream. So in a medium bowl, you wanna pour in one and a third cup of heavy whipping cream and then just beat that with an electric mixer until it forms stiff peaks. Then working with a little bit of your whipped cream at a time, just take a little spoonful, add it into your chocolate mixture and fold it in. You wanna carefully fold it in just to keep the integrity and the light and fluffiness of the batter. When everything's incorporated, you wanna pour it on top of your pie crust and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for around six hours or you can go overnight. Once your pie is done chilling, it's time to make the topping. So this is a great make ahead keto dessert recipe where you can make that part ahead and then just save this last part until the day you wanna serve it, just so it's just really nice and pretty on top. So our final topping is going to be a whipped cream topping. So in a medium bowl, you're gonna add in one cup of heavy whipping cream, Along with just a little bit of sweetness, we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar-free sweetener of your choice, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. You're gonna mix this up until stiff peaks form, and then just lob that on top of your chocolate cream pie. I like to top mine with some shavings of some sugar-free chocolate, but you could even dust some cocoa powder on there or just even some more of your cacao bliss on top too. Make sure you store this pie in the refrigerator when you're not enjoying it. I'll have the full macro information down below in the description box, so make sure you click down there or just check out my website, go to ketofocus.com and search for this chocolate cream pie.